previously on Rock of Love. Oh my God, the exes are here. I've also brought a friend of mine. I give you Heather. All right, let's do it. Heather has us doing body shots and taking our tops off. The only way I'm gonna make it through this day is drunk. All the girls in the house are completely breaking down. I need to talk to you. There's something really huge that I haven't told Brett. <laughs> What's going on? We still live together. She still lives with her boyfriend. Heather drops a little bomb on me. If I wanted to keep her here in my life, are you cool with that? Yeah. I'm not sure I do believe it, but I want to believe it. And I'm sorry, but the tour ends here. He understands. Like, he's understanding me. We're going to fly to Vegas. <laughs> and I'm taking with us Heather for a Vegas party. This is going to rock. Small bag. Oh. I need help. I got four girls left in the house. I have feelings for each of these four girls. And I'm just hoping and praying Heather can help me get to the bottom of this. Woo! Are we ready to go? You want to jump in the limo? Yes. Let's go. Today, we're taking the girls to Vegas to find inner spiritual connection and to party asses off. Way to go to Vegas. I am so excited. I cannot wait to go to Vegas with Brett. I feel like I'm traveling like a rock star in this Learjet. Here's our trip to Vegas. Have a great time. Oh, my last trip to Vegas was a beautiful, beautiful thing. Hey! Brady. Dude, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, Vegas. I'm really, really excited. I can't wait, but at the same time, I'm concerned because I feel like Brett thinks that I might be too innocent to handle his lifestyle, so I have to prove him wrong. Hello. How are Hi. you doing? Good to see you. Welcome to the Hard Rock. We love being here, you know <laughs> that. Enjoy. The Hard Rock, this is awesome. I've been there many times. Party many times, forgot many things I've done there many times. I'm gonna show them rock and roll. They need to see this. I'll right. see you all in a little bit, all right? Okay. See you in a bit. I am so excited when we get to the hard rock. I wanna dance, I wanna party, I wanna be sexy, I wanna get down and dirty with Brett. I just, Sin City, hello. All right, ladies. Walk into this amazing suite that has a bar, a pool table, killer bedrooms, and there's a whole table full of presents that Brett brought us. <laughs> it's hard that Daisy, being one of my closest friends in the house, happens to be also my biggest competition. But I'm here for Brett 100%. So everybody having a cocktail with me or what? We have to celebrate. We're in yes. Vegas, and yes. so it's not gonna be boring. I'm letting all of you guys know that. Oh, fun, come on in. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. You're very welcome. My awesome foursome and Heather. <laughs> welcome to Vegas. I hope you like your suite. I picked out a few gifts for you to enjoy. Jessica and Destiny, please change into these golf outfits and meet me downstairs. Amber and Daisy, I will see you tonight at dinner. Love, <gasps> Brett. Oh my god! I am totally pumped. It just so happens that I might know a thing or two about golf. I played varsity golf in high school for four years. You guys have to get ready. Cool. Hey, go golf. Love, Brett. Someone nice. has to rock 80s here on this crew, you guys. I'm being dead serious. Dude, I love the 80s. Cool. Heather decides that we need to 80s it up a little bit, so she teases our hair, and finally, it looks like we're ready for golf. Bye, guys! Thank Bye. you, Heather! I love it! These girls are so stupid. 80s hair is so out. Even I know that now. Well, hello! <laughs> hello, 80s golf queen. <laughs> How you doing today? Good. Hello, Hi. beautiful girl. <laughs> when I saw Destiny and Jessica's golf looks, I gotta admit, it took me back some fond, fond memories. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Cheers. Okay. Cheers! Vegas! Brett has invited me along to come to Vegas, pretty much to finish my mission, and that's to find out all the dirt on these skanks. I want to be happy. I want him to find somebody 
that is a good person. Uh, have, you, have you guys hooked up with Brett yet? Yeah, uh, like 500 times. <laughs> what, what am I gonna say? No. no. Daisy's biggest strength is her sexuality. Truth is, I can sex it up for Brett, but how in the hell is Daisy gonna magically form this mental connection with him? Have you done anything? All we've done is made out, kissed. That's it. I cannot even picture Brett and Amber in a relationship. I mean, Amber, probably wearing granny panties. So, so sit down. So now that I have these girls alone, um, I really need to sit down with each of them and figure out what's going on. So do you, you feel like you have an, like a very tight bond with him? Me and Brett have spent a lot of time together. So you don't feel like any competition with any of these girls here whatsoever? No. I don't think that anybody at this point can beat the chemistry that I have with Brett. And I love it. I'm glad. Who, in your honest opinion, do you feel is is not right? And what's your take on the whole thing? Like, yeah, like, I don't, like, think any one of you is good for Brett. It's been one day. How, how am I going to say who's right for, in 24 hours? I could tell immediately that I need to keep my guard up around Heather. I got you, girl. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Very cool. I think she she doesn't like me. She wants to take me down. She had, she had time. My question is, because I am here for Brett, you know, he is very, very, well, very close. So who do you think is not right for Brett out of the four of you guys? Like, are you worried that those two are going on a date today? Or would she be more worried if she was going on a date with him? It seems like she wants it out of her beach. She wants to go to LA. She wants a way out. But and she has in debt. She talks about her being in debt from her boot job and blah, blah, blah. I don't know Daisy very well, but from what I do know and what I've seen and witnessed, I do feel like she is codependent. And she's looking for someone to save her from her life. He don't see any of this. If we're talking at dinner and stuff, and you couldn't tell him at dinner. She need to pull all that out. He's got to know that. Because mm -hmm. all he's known is this. I know, and he's, I know. He's a guy. I know. He, you know, he's just trying to think with that. I know. That's what they think with. Heather's given me advice before dinner, and I'm actually thinking that bringing Daisy's issues onto the table is a good thing, and that's what I plan to do. Oh, God. Here it comes, you know? You, honey, I got to. She, she's not good for him, girl. Coming up. Nice shot. Destiny, you ready? Oops. That's all right. Brett's giving me pointers because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. We're almost up to the next tee. Then later. Bottom line, she thinks she has it back. Daisy says who? Daisy thinks that she's already won Brett's heart. If you don't call it this out, yeah. you guys will both go home tomorrow. I'm gonna blow. We're in Vegas, so I'm taking Destiny and Jessica to Angel Park Golf Course. This is gonna be awesome. Brett, how you been, buddy? I'm awesome, man. Nice man. to see you, Good to too. See you. Just nice wanted to welcome you guys to Angel Park Golf Club, Thank Las Vegas' premier lit golf course. We're gonna have a little evening golf tonight. You guys ready to have some fun? Uh, yeah. 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 Let's go. So we get to the golf course, and the sun is setting. It's looking very romantic, and I'm, I'm very excited. I'm ready to play golf. Take a breath, let it all in, let it out. Stretch a little bit. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, stretching is good. Here's the thing with Destiny. What I love about her is she is rock and roll. She is awesome, and I love that. However, she may be just a party girl, and I need more than that. Just watch the ball and have fun. Go right, right for the flag. Nice shot. It's very empowering to be doing something I'm good at because it allows me to show off a little bit and show my confident side at doing something that maybe he didn't know that I knew how to do. Destiny, you ready? OK. Oops, it's OK. It's a practice. Hi-o. I sucked ass. Brett's giving me a lot of pointers because clearly I don't know what the hell I'm doing. That's OK. Nice. Good shot. At least it's straight. We're almost up to the next tee. Nice. At this point, I feel like I have a really strong connection with Brett, but I think that he sees me as the girl next door, and I think he needs to see the sexier side of me now. I get kissed for that one. Two. Winner. <laughs> Winner. Can I get you? Jessica looks hot, and she's good, and I dig it. Oh, unbelievable shot. That was <laughs> awesome. Ooh. Ooh annoying me that Jessica's all over Brett. 
I don't know anything about golf, but I can definitely get his attention. That will help you actually visualize. Destiny has never golfed before, and I can see Destiny pass act slutty because she doesn't know what she's doing. Oh, 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 oh. Sit. Look at that. Ah, uh, Angel Park. This is where you could possibly make love right in a golf course in the middle of the night. And let me tell you, I have never seen golf played with such ferocity. This was so much Did fun. Did you have fun? Yes. Awesome. I'm feeling really good about my date with Brett today, but at the same time, now he's got another date coming up, and I'm just hoping it goes really bad. It was really I'm fun. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to go gonna get, get ready. ready for our date. So oh, Whatever was yeah. your date. Okay. Why is she made a head? I walk into the room, and Daisy gets right up in my face being really rude. I don't know what her problem is. I just feel like I was totally yeah. attacked just now when I walked yeah, through the like, door. Like, like, Why did you ask her about it then? This makes me feel like Daisy hasn't been a friend to me like I thought she was. I hope their date sucks. Are you nervous for your date? I am so nervous, girl. You'll be fine, just be yourself. I am really nervous. I feel like this is my last chance to talk to Brad and I've gotta tell him how I feel. There's a lot of things about Daisy that don't quite add up and I don't fully understand and I think Brett needs to know about these issues too. Ladies, welcome to AJ's. Yes. Have a good time. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Hello, beautiful. Hi. After a long and intense game of golf, I decide it's time to take Amber and Daisy to AJ's Steakhouse. This is gonna rock. The girls need some meat. First of all, cheers oh, yeah. to the beginning of a good trip. Here's what I wanna find out from Amber and Daisy. I wanna find out a lot about them, especially in the ex-boyfriend department. I think someone's got a story here to tell, and someone is lying to me. Here's some stuff, and I know we're gonna eat here in a minute, that mm -hmm. I wanted to ask questions I had from yesterday from friends and ex-boyfriend, <laughs> right? The um, ex-boyfriend, right? Yes. Okay, just checking. I think what my big question would be, the two years that you weren't together, mm -hmm. but still lived together, you have to explain now. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have a job, and obviously I do, and we're unsure of like, what should we just like stay in the lease? Suddenly, the conversation turns towards my ex-boyfriend again. It's just the situation hasn't been easy. I thought we had settled this all, and obviously he's still upset. I haven't been physical with anyone for like two years. That's just the bottom line. You're trying to tell me you haven't dated, gone out with another guy in two years? It's not like I haven't liked other guys. And but they're one night stands or they're no, no, one no, no, off. No, 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 no. They're, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, no, that's just not how I roll. I want to believe in my heart and soul and for my own ego that a girl like Daisy can go two years without sex. I ain't buying it. And you're eventually going, okay, I live with my boyfriend in a one-bedroom apartment, but we're not seeing each other. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, but, yeah. Okay, no, I, I, whatever I, you I, say. I Here's the thing with Daisy. She can tell me anything she wants as long as she starts telling me something that gives me a foundation of who this person is. Well, maybe people don't understand, but like... Well, I, I'm not crucifying you. I'm just trying to understand it. Like, we've been through some crazy act. You know, just like anybody else. And I think if you explain some of the crazy act, I'll get it better. We... You're leaving out a chunk. Well, and it's a little confusing. Coming up. I'm asking you a question. Well, if you shut your mouth, I can tell you. Excuse me? What do you people want from me? Why are you all ganging up I'm on not, me? I'm not. I'm talking to you. What the did I do to any of you? And later. You're not going to be with my friend. Don't roll your guys and me. Heather turns on me, but you know what? I knew that was coming. You guys are goo goo gaga. How, How do you, you know? If I went, was, then why the <gasps> you? You're not gonna be with my friend. But like for me, like there's a lot, there's a lot to me. And I think if you explain some of the crazy I'll get it better. Yeah. You're leaving out a chunk. Well, we, and I, it's, I just, it's hard to talk about. Like, I don't, you know, you don't. Well, say what you can say. Everything. Just talk, don't, you know, we're sitting there having dinner and I definitely still got some unanswered questions with Daisy. I need to get to the bottom of this one. At one point, I had been pregnant and I had an abortion, so it's like, you know, we had, he like stayed there still to make sure that I was okay. Daisy tells me some very 
personal stuff, and I can understand now why she's still very close to Charles. I'm just asking these questions because it's clearing up a lot of air for me. Yeah. That, that it otherwise well, you know could what? come I, to elimination and yeah. I can't fit my finger on it and you could go with me just simply saying something's wrong in the mix. I'm worried that Brett does not understand that me and Charles are just done. I mean, we're done. I have crazy ass feelings for Brett, not Charles. Brett. I'm not in love with him, obviously. It's just hard because I want him to be okay. Well, it must be hard. You what know do you what I'm saying? Like, because you're helping him, you're financially well, it helping is him. Hard if I, I just didn't realize it was two years you guys were living together and being wait, friends. Wait, yeah. And like, I didn't realize the lease well, went for that long. We're not gonna just like dump each other like out on the street yeah, or something like yeah. that. Like, I can afford it. He can't. How do you pay for like, you know, the implants and like? Because, you're supporting him and like because I make really good money. What do you do, Daisy? Like I don't well, think I. Well, I that. am a dancer. I've been oh. dancing. I think it's really important for Brett to understand the differences between me and Daisy. I'm at a stable place in my life. I have a stable income, a job, and she's stuck in this two-year lease with her ex-boyfriend. But still, she's able to get boobs and extensions and lip injections and all this other stuff, so it's just not adding up to me. You have no debt or anything like that? Yeah, I have, dude, I have I have a I have a load of debt. But that's <laughs> Amber doesn't even know the situation. It's none of her business. I don't have to explain to Amber, because I'm not trying to date Amber, so Amber should just pipe down. I what? hope that what you're trying to say is good and not trying to attack me, but I don't, no, I don't I'm not just, sure what you're trying to say. Like, I feel for you. Mm -hmm. I really do. Bottom line, she's not threatened by none of you guys. She thinks she has in the bag. We are all hanging out, having a great time, and suddenly the conversation turns to Daisy. And Heather makes it very clear that we all need to be really weary of what Daisy is up to. I go, those girls are beautiful. She's like, I feel no competition. The fact that Daisy says that she has no competition in this house pisses me off because I have just as much as right to be here than she does. Plus, she says she 500 times. Daisy says who? No one that lives with her ex-boyfriend should be here. I am very upset when I hear this from Heather about Daisy. The more I think about it, the more mad I'm getting, and the more I'm beginning to realize that Daisy thinks that she's already won Brett's heart. God, this is more <laughs> confusing, dude. <laughs> Oh my God, Destiny starts to get overly emotional about this whole situation and just acting kind of like a crazy person. Damn it! This is a recipe for disaster. I have to let it out! I saw her in the face when she walks in. I know. Go get your <laughs> in my room right now. Heather made me realize that Daisy is not my friend and she's my competition and I need to get out of that room and go stay with her. Did you all have a good meal? Yes. yes. I'm thinking that we exit here Yes. And go back up to the suite. Yes. And hang out and have a great time. So let's go. Okay. <laughs> no more friends with her, all right? No more. Destiny is acting like a nut. And I know that the minute Daisy walks through that door, it's going to be on like Donkey Kong. Hi. Hi. Hey, girl. Oh, Amber and Daisy walk in the door, and my blood is boiling. So what happened? How was it? We had dinner and like you just had good conversation. Of, yeah. Like what? Of, obviously talked about my past relationship. I've been wondering about that today well, myself. Tell me about it. What are you wondering? What doesn't make sense to you? That you still live with your ex-boyfriend that you were with. Well, you know what? I'm not a cold-hearted. I'm not gonna kick him out. I'm not street. saying that, dude. I'm just asking. Then what? You. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't get it. I don't understand. Well, if you shut your mouth, I can tell you. Excuse okay? me. Are you what? gonna listen? Are you gonna I'm asking you a question. Why do I need to tell you? Why do you leave your ex-boyfriend if you're trying to meet Brett Michaels? I don't understand it. Why is she here for Brett when she still has somebody at home? I have no strings, dude, but apparently you do. Shut the up. <gasps> Seriously. All right, here, all right, let me just, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second, all right? Destiny is not the only one that has things on her mind to talk to Daisy about. I do too, and I'm gonna let her know. You guys live in a one bedroom apartment for the past two years. Yeah, and you're seriously. I'm here for Brett, and I'm 100% open. You don't think I'm here for no, Brett? No, I just. And you're like. Oh my. Yeah. No. Dirty laundry. What did you just listen to me for a second? You're not gonna walk away from me. I was observing the drama going on, and I was just thinking, 
Oh my gosh. Is this really the rock star life? Because I'm stable and don't have any drama and I don't deal well with crazy. What I want to know is, why are you here? Are you looking for someone to save you? Why are you all ganging up I'm not, me? I'm talking to you. What did I do to any of you? Let's what do you people want from me? How much more can I make this any clearer? I don't understand why they're all ganging up I'm on not. me. What I'm saying is there's a lot of secrets going on there, Dace, and it makes me- Yeah, but you know what? I talked to Brett about it. Obviously not enough because he's questioning you tonight at dinner. Me? And that's taken away from my time, and I'm sick of people taking away from my time Well, I'm Brett. sorry, Thank maybe you. you should have more to talk about with him then. <laughs> <laughs> you, I have dealt with Christy Joe and her for so long, and once Christy Joe has left, now I'm dealing with Daisy's and it's infringing on my time, and that is When you live there, don't roll your eyes at me. You live with your ex-boyfriend. You guys are goo goo gaga eyes. How do you know that I'm goo goo gaga eyes over here? I'm sick. Day? If I was, then why the You're not gonna be with my friend. What? I'll be damned. Coming up. Destiny is attacking me again. No, no, Have I'm you done been there? Are you home. there? Daisy is like waving her hand in my face. You better shut the up. Hey John, why don't you come over here and deal with it? And later, there's a lot of stuff that I want to talk to you about. Yeah. If there's anything else... I'd befriended CC. This is awkward. Is there a physical relationship? Well, I'm not sure exactly what was going on. It just keeps unfolding. Unfortunately, elimination has come. You live with your ex-boyfriend. You guys are goo-goo gaga eyes. How do you know that I'm goo-goo gaga eyes over here? I was and why the you? <gasps> Holy this is a circus. You're not going to be with my friend. I'll be Ladies. Let's go, Brett's ready for you. Big John, thank God, comes in and saves me from these psycho women, but I'm really upset and I don't want to go because I don't want Brett to see me like this. Come in. What's up, boss? Big John, Big John. Come well, on, now that is sexy. I invite the girls up to my suite and it is a rockin' suite at the Hard Rock. Let's give them a little tour of the suite, shall we? Should we decide to have a business meeting or bowl? So here we are, walking into Brett's suite. Everyone's trying to act like everything's fine, but secretly, everybody's hating Daisy right now. Come on, let's bring the drinks. Let's go gamble. I got a private blackjack table in our room. This is gonna rock. All right, here we go. So we have a 13. Hey. So do you want another card? Or have you good then? Yeah, I'm good. It's good times right there. Brett has a blackjack game all set up for us, but after that fight, I can't even freaking focus. I can't pretend that everything is okay. Then what do you have left? Looks like the last one. What? Oh, you're still oh, who's that? It's all your husbands. Why I don't live do with my ex-husband. You can no, say other things you want to accept. I don't like, I'm, I'm not though. in the marriage, right. so I'm not married. That's your situation. It. Exactly, it is. Okay, so then shut the about it. What? Destiny is attacking me again. This is so jacked up, and I'm so over her. She needs to get away from me right now. I'm sorry, does anyone else here live with their ex-boyfriends? Why do you live with their ex-boyfriend? Because the situation- For the past two years, and you say you haven't been intimate in two years? I call bull You. Don't touch me, dude. Get the in my face. Daisy is like waving her hand in my face. I didn't know if she was gonna hit me or what. You don't know You better shut the Right now. I'm sorry. Hey, John. I'm, sorry. I'm yeah. so sorry. Why don't you come over here and deal with it? This trip to Vegas is not what I had in mind. Thumbs up. Why are you guys disrespecting Brett in this I didn't, aspect? I didn't mean to do that. I'm I mean, sorry. Me to do that. And my face walked away. It was like in my face. I feel like such a jerk. I let my temper get the best of me once again, but. I felt strongly about something and I couldn't hold it in. You're, you're yeah. sucking your way out of debt. I don't need anybody to I have you or us. No, I don't. Boyfriend. No, I don't. I think that Heather has filled these other girls with some thoughts and because unfortunately they are weak people, she easily manipulated them and had them turn against me. Do you know who I am? My uncle is Oscar De La Hoya. If I wanted a way out, I would have call it. Call it. I've never had four crazy, psychotic people coming at me, <laughs> yelling at me because of my life, because of, you know, my situation. If you're so concerned about it, maybe you should be talking to Brett about it, not screaming at me. 
My ex-boyfriend is my roommate. What am I supposed to do? How about you be an independent woman and make your own money? I do I make have. my own money. Yo. You Listen to me. I'm done. It's ruining my night. Listen, I let you guys try to work it out. You're not working it out. You walk over to my room right now. I'm done, man. I'm done. This is going bad. I wanted this time to be a party. I did not want to fight. And finally, I just said, you all go back to your room. Daisy, you're hanging with me. We need to talk. What your problem is, your story is not a bad story. Everyone has a past. Uh, but, but it continues to unfold a little too slowly to be this far in to where we're at. Right now, I need to get to the bottom of Daisy's story. There is so many holes in her story. She knows it. I know it. We need to get to the bottom of it. Upset is like just because I care about someone in my life. Like, is that so wrong? Like, am I supposed no. to just be like you? We're past him. I can only ask you: Are you here for the right reason? I hope. I hope that you are. <laughs> I am here because I want love. I want somebody to appreciate me, and it sucks because of all this drama and it hurts. And it's like, Here's the thing, I know that Daisy's got a whole lot of deep-rooted issues, but most people would have snapped by now and just said, I'm out. Daisy's still there, she's still fighting. I'm really believing that Daisy has true emotions for me. The only thing that matters is what me and you think about each other, okay? Yeah. And just be straight with me and we'll work through all of it, all right? Okay. Okay. Brett is comforting me and there's, it's just, it's awesome. Brett knows just how to cheer me up. Mm. Hi. Hi. Daisy comes back, and honestly, I, I just have no interest in talking to her whatsoever. I am so over it. I'm, I'm done. Done. I feel so bad that I upset him. Waking up this morning in Vegas, I feel very uncomfortable. I don't know what's going on. I feel like maybe I could be going home because of my outburst last night. They don't work well together, That's anger okay. and alcohol. I'm hoping that I can fix the damage that was done last night. Hello. Heather comes to talk to me because tonight is elimination, and I've got to decide who stays and who goes. Man, life is rough. Amber, I like Amber a lot. I think she's solid. Is that your type, though? You think there's any love with Jessica or not? Jessica's smart, you know what I'm saying? And so she's sitting back and she's letting everybody else. Can she handle my lifestyle? Probably doubtful after last night. Destiny. Destiny is one to punch Christy Joe in the face, Ina in the face, Megan right. in the face. After the way Destiny was and how aggressive she was and knocking her drink over, I am very concerned that Destiny may not be cool to hang with backstage. I can't get into any more of their heads any further with you here. You're too big of an entity. It's now up to me to finish this on my own and find out if there is one of these four girls that may actually love me. No matter what, I'll always have your back. There'll always be love for each other. Thank you for coming here and doing this. I really mean that, and I, and I do love you. I'm lucky to have you in my life. Yeah, absolutely. Come on, walk you out. Honestly, it's very tough for me to say goodbye to Heather because we really, really, truly are great friends. She opened my eyes up to Megan. She opened my eyes up to the other four girls that are left. Heather, you rock. I love you. Dude, nice to meet you guys. Thank you for everything. Had a blast. You rock. I feel really happy that Heather is leaving because I don't want any more drama. So hopefully he removed the drama. Bye, babe. Bye. 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 For my last day in Vegas, I'm gonna spend one-on-one -on -one time with Jessica and Daisy. I know there's a lot of unanswered questions. I need to get to the bottom of this one. Good God. I have done so much to show Brett that I'm not just the girl next door. I've won challenges, I've done a sexy music video. I just hope that Brett is taking all of this in and really thinking about me as the total package. Here's what I loved about you when you came in. You were sweet. You were innocent, you got a ton of energy. Here's the only downside. I would be bringing you into a world that can be a world of hurt. I think Jessica is genuine. I don't think she has any agenda. I think she's here for all the right reasons, but I'm not sure that she wants my world of jaded hurt to come crashing down on her just yet. I just hope that from the limited amount of time we've been able to spend together that you 
can trust in me enough to know that I do. Like I, I know look what's at you real and I, I know what isn't, and I, I I wouldn't. There's something about you that is that is. When I say innocent, sexy, I don't mean like. Just I don't not mean jaded. Like, you're just not jaded, and I love that about right. you. After my one-on-one -on -one with Brett, I am now even more confused than ever because he has told me how much he cares about me and all of the positive things he thinks of me, but he's also told me that he still has some big concerns. So at this point, I don't really know how to feel. If you know it isn't true, don't tell me that you love me. Hi. Hello. How are you doing, beautiful? Daisy is a bottomless pit of turmoil. Every day, something new. Maybe it's not her that's messed up, maybe it's me. Obviously, after last night, there's a lot of stuff that I want to talk to you about. I'm not sure in my gut, I completely feel like the entire story's out there yet. Unfortunately, the time for elimination has come. So, I feel that if there's anything else that you want to tell me, anything. God, I didn't know we were gonna get so freaking really deep into this I haven't had enough time to tell Brett my entire life story, but apparently this is what he wants. Obviously, I'm a fan of your band. Right. And um, there was a period about a couple years ago where I actually had befriended Cece. I, I'm just like, oh my god, I can't believe Cece developed from Poison is calling me. What the It is a big concern of mine that Daisy is now just telling me she has hung out with CC. This is awkward. Is there, is there a physical relationship there? No, there was never a physical relationship with CC. It okay. was just all. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I can't seem to get to the bottom of, of the barrel. Like, it just keeps coming out. I don't care about if you went out with some guy in Denver I'll never meet in my life. Yeah. That's your business. So Going out with a bandmate of mine who I see. But I didn't go out with him. I pray that Daisy is not just a groupie, even though she'd be one of the hottest ones ever. I pray there's a lot more to her than that. And I really am physically massively attracted to you, emotionally not there yet, and I need to, to think that over. I feel like this is a lose-lose situation. If I tell him the truth and what, what has gone on in my life, he's not gonna be cool with it. But on the other hand, if I don't tell him, then I'm screwed there too. Going into elimination tonight, I am feeling so nervous. Coming up. I am great at a low, I am awful at goodbye. When you're here in Vegas, you win big here and you lose big here. And one of you, unfortunately, is going home tonight. For tonight's elimination, we're going to Body English at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. And as I get down to Jessica, Destiny, Amber, and Daisy, this is gonna be a rough decision for me. I, I don't know who Brett will send home tonight, but I could see it being Destiny. I know that he needs a woman who's grounded and who doesn't just jump to conclusions, and I think he got rocked by last night. I am nervous because last night I went off on Daisy because I was just not gonna put up with any more lies or deceit. I hope Brett understands where I'm coming from because I care about him. Going into elimination, I'm feeling pretty good because right now I feel like there are bigger fish to fry. Seriously, it, Daisy needs to go home. There's so many skeletons in her closet. She just needs to go home. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck so bad. Because they put everything you have into it. Good evening, ladies. Hi. I want to tell you, when you're here in Vegas, you win big here and you lose big here, which brings us to the elimination tonight. Three of you will be staying, and one of you, unfortunately, is going home tonight. Without further ado, John, will you hit me with the pass? This first girl, this is somebody whose life recently has been turned upside down. This is somebody who I know has a lot of passion for me. This is a person that it is very obvious in this room that I have a lot of passion for and I want to believe in. Daisy, would you come up here, please?
Brett calls my name and I'm like, God, I love you. I just, I just really want to tell him like at that moment that I love him because I can't help it. it. It seems like every time we talk, something else just seems to kind of come falling out. I'm over it. I'm hoping to God that we are past everything we need to be past. Everybody here has a past, okay? We all have things that we've done, both good and bad. I know I have, but I need to know who the hell you are, okay? Do you understand me? All right, do you want to stay here in this house and rock my board? I, absolutely forever. Okay. When Daisy gets her pass, I am so mad because I think she's a liar. If I go home tonight, I'm gonna be really hurt that he chose her over me. I know there's a past there. I know there's a lot of unanswered questions, but I am falling in love with this girl. Craziness and all, she may damn well just be the girl for me. This next girl that I want to keep here, she is strong, she's smart. She lets everybody know how she feels. Amber, would you come down here, please? Would you continue to stay here? in this crazy, 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 insane world in which we are living and rock my world. Absolutely. All right. You know, I'm really excited I got the pass, and I'm thinking I'm feeling more on solid ground at this point, but I want to keep making this connection with Brad. I am not feeling so good at this moment. I'm just standing there. I can't look at Brett. I just keep looking at the floor and keep trying to hold in my tears, even though they keep coming out. I've got two beautiful girls and one pass left. Jessica and I are standing here without our passes, and I don't know what's going to happen. I really think that I'm going home. I'm going to start with you, Jessica. What I love about you is you are real, you are sincere, you're beautiful, and you're young. What I fear about you, it is the innocence and the youngness that we openly discuss tonight, OK? I wish that Brett would just stop having these concerns about me and just have a little faith in me like I have faith in him. Destiny, you have a pretty quick temper. As you know, I'm extremely, extremely close to my fans. That's what's given me 21 years, right? And what I fear is that you are a complete wild child and backstage, the wrong girl saying the wrong thing to you could set you off. That's, that's losing a fan. That's a lawsuit. And I'll just be straight, that's a whole lot of bad for me. I'm just, I'm very passionate about him. So sometimes I lose my temper, but it's important that he knows that I'm here for him and I'm not just a fan. John? I have the pass in my hand and both girls are just breaking down and this is killing me. Jessica and Destiny are the last two standing, and there's one pass left. And I am thinking, who the hell's gonna go home? John? <laughs> Destiny, would you come down here, please? I am really afraid that I'm going home right now, and it sucks, and I really don't wanna go home. Do you think that with all the insanity that's about to go on, if we were to be together, that you're gonna be able to deal with it when someone gets straight up in your face and you don't lose your temper. Do you feel you can handle it? I do. You gotta tell me. I do, Brett, I do. <laughs> I thought that's what you would say. So I want you to stay here and rock my world, okay? All right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so relieved I got my pass. Now I'm gonna bring it. I think Brett sees that I'm determined to do anything it takes to be with him. Jessica, would you come here, please? Well, I just, you know, want Brett to be happy. I just wish that he was gonna be happy with me. Look at me, okay? What I love about you, and I don't get a tear in my eye too often, right? You're, you're a good person, and I, I feel that with the lifestyle I lead, I think you know, and I know, 
that eventually that it, it would destroy our relationship. I, I don't know how to put it better. It's just my gut feeling. Inevitably, I sent Jessica home for one simple reason. Sexy as she was, she needed to find someone in her life that was a young soul like her. I'm so sorry, but the tour ends here, okay? Well, I got eliminated tonight, and I feel horrible, I, you know, but I did everything I could to show Brett who I was, and it gave me a huge heart, and I put it there on the table for Brett to pick up, but it wasn't what he wanted. I don't regret it. Every part of me was real and there for him, and he knows that. And if you're not right for someone, I guess you're just not right for someone. Come on down. So now it's the final three, me, Daisy, and Destiny, two rocker chicks, and Amber. I could really use one of these right yeah. now. <laughs> right about now. I put every single thing on the line at this point. I've opened myself up. I've been attacked by banshees, but all I know is that I'm still here, and I'm not going anywhere. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm happy to be here with all three of you, and I want rock of love. I don't want rock alike or lust. So let's try to make it happen, OK? I feel like Brett obviously has some kind of feelings for me, and he cares about me in some way. That's why I'm still here. So it's anybody's game at this point. So thank you for being part of my life. Here's to our girl, Jessica, who I don't have a bad thing to say about. Right now, it is the holy trinity and I need to find one of them who's gonna rock my world. Cheers to Vegas, baby. To Vegas. Winning big, and if you gamble like me, mostly just losing. <laughs> Next time, I need to get to know these girls, so today, I'm gonna bring in the parents. <laughs> We're just these family. Sorry, sir. Hi, my dad! I don't know who's coming for me. Hi, sweetie. Oh, baby. That's such a big breast. I think I'm embarrassed for my dad. I don't know if he finds this amusing. That's a heck of a brush to smoke. Destiny's been talking about getting a tattoo. I'm gonna make that dream come true. It's not my name, but I'm dealing with that emotionally. Amber is 37. What is her age? I can't believe I lied to Brett. You had told me you were 31 years old. I've broken that trust and that bond. All I, I can do is be honest with you and my feelings, and now right. it's up to you. I want to make sure any relationship doesn't become just a business relationship. And in my heart, we aren't connecting. There you go. Oh. There you go. You're at a rock concert. You're letting it loose, baby. Hi. <laughs> One more practice, then I'll go. Killer Duck has got my hand. Bra. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, okay, go for it. And that's in the water.